Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Well, once again, encapsulation devices are the topic today. No, it's not the company you're thinking of. We're going to treat you to a whole new story here about a company called Adosia and their encapsulation device. And it's a different take on the same subject, protecting islet cells. They use a different kind of technology and uh, we're gonna show you the distinctiveness of this particular product versus some of the others that we cover on a pretty frequent basis. So if you would be so good to hit the like and subscribe buttons, that helps us to get this out to more people around the globe. Now let's find out about this new product called Endoshell and how it is different from all the others. Protecting islet cells from type 1 diabetes with this revolutionary encapsulation device. Encapsulation device for islet protection. Adoshia recently presented Edoshell, its proprietary encapsulation device designed to protect islet cells for use in type 1 diabetes, T1D therapy. What is Adoshell? Adoshell is a hydrogel-based immunoprotective macro encapsulation device. It is designed to, the host transplants islets or stem cell-derived insulin-producing cells protect cells from the host's immune system without the need for systemic immunosuppressive drugs, allow oxygen, nutrients, glucose, and insulin to diffuse freely across its membrane. Key features, semi-permeable membrane made of biocompatible hydrogel, flat, disc-like shape suitable for subcutaneous implantation, an immune barrier that blocks immune cells while allowing the exchange of small molecules. Cell viability and insulin responsiveness were demonstrated in preclinical models, potential to be used with allogeneic or stem cell-derived beta cells. Preclinical status, Adosia has shown promising in vivo results in animals, with sustained insulin production from encapsulated cells. The device maintains cell viability and glycemic control in diabetic models without immunosuppressants. Next steps involve partnering for clinical translation, possibly integrating with third-party insulin-producing cells. Comparison, Adoshell is similar in goal to other encapsulation approaches, like Viasite's and capture device, Cernova's cell pouch. But Adoshell emphasizes material simplicity and low immune reactivity, using hydrogel instead of synthetic polymers or metallic meshes, potentially reducing fibrosis risk. Here's a detailed breakdown of Adoshia's Adoshell product, its design, function, development stage, and how it fits into the broader landscape of islet cell therapy for type 1 diabetes. T1D. Edoshell, encapsulation device for islet or beta cell therapy. Purpose Edoshell is engineered to enable long-term survival and function of insulin-producing cells, islets, or stem cell-derived beta cells without the use of immunosuppressive drugs. It aims to replace insulin therapy by restoring endogenous insulin production through protected cell transplantation. Feature details. Material, made of a transparent hydrogel membrane, biocompatible and non-fibrotic. Structure, flat, disc-shaped macro encapsulation pouch. Size adaptable, designed to house therapeutic cell masses sufficient to regulate blood glucose. Permeability, semi-permeable, allows diffusion of glucose, insulin, oxygen, nutrients, and waste. Immunoprotection prevents the entry of immune cells and antibodies, thus avoiding immune rejection. Implant site, designed for subcutaneous implantation, which is surgically accessible and reversible. Retrievability, fully retrievable device, a key requirement for safety and regulatory approval. Preclinical validation. Islet cell encapsulation, rat and human, demonstrated viability, insulin secretion, and glucose responsiveness. Rodent models of T1D, implanted devices restored normal glycemia without immunosuppression. Devices maintained functionality for several months. No fibrotic overgrowth or significant foreign body reaction in initial animal studies. Use cases can be used to encapsulate primary human islets, stem cell-derived beta cells, genetically modified insulin-producing cells, compatible with allogeneic or xenogenic sources, opening the door for off-the-shelf therapies. Innovation and advantages. 
Feature Advantage Hydrogel Membrane Reduces Inflammation and Fibrosis Risk Compared to Synthetic Materials Macro Encapsulation Easier to retrieve than microcapsules and can house higher cell mass No Aminosuppressants Safer for patients, especially children or elderly Low Manufacturing Complexity Simplifies Scale-Up and GMP Production Versatile Compatible with multiple cell sources and therapeutic applications Current stage preclinical, non-human testing completed with encouraging results. Adocia is seeking industry partners for co-development with a beta cell source like stem cell biotech firms. Clinical trials expected to begin following IND-enabling studies and device scale-up may be used in combination therapies with gene-edited or immunovasive cells. Next steps for Adocia. Advance to GLP safety studies, partner with cell suppliers or enter co-development agreements. File for regulatory approval for human trials. Focus on non-immunosuppressed T1D cell therapy. This channel will closely follow the progress of Adocia and Andoshell and report back the progress to our viewers. Is this a winner, Jim? Okay, well, I hope you got something out of that. The company is Adocia and Adoshell is the product. I love the idea of the encapsulation device being a, uh, a gel a hydrogel to be specific. Uh, they are in preclinical stage, so they're not anywhere near their competitors at this point. But, you know, these things can change quickly in this particular science. If the science bears out, they have credibility in the preclinical stages. Now, if they can take it to the next step, and who knows, if they can partner with somebody, that could make it all happen much faster. Whatever the case, uh, it's just somebody else working on encapsulation to protect those transplanted islet cells that become functional beta cells. We'll watch out for their progress and report back to you. Until then, my name is Jim. This is Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. I wish you a very good day and stay healthy. Bye-bye.